coach was talking about just on the defensive end, how much he's come to trust you there. Can you pinpoint when maybe a, you know, a switch is kind of flip for you in terms of maybe developing confidence? Or? Um, I would just say having that one year, uh, coming off my freshman year defensively, you kind of you know where you want to be um, and be in the right spots defensively. And so, and then just, you know, combining that with my athleticism, um, I've been really been able to kind of combine the two and get some good results on the defensive end. And it's been like, a, it's been a point of emphasis that I've been working on um, this season. I'm just trying to, you know, be able to make a difference on the floor when I'm in the game and, you know, just trying to get, build some sort of rhythm that way. Going up against some of the, the, the better guys on the opposition's team, whether it's Noir or Chris Dacus or even Lamar Stevens, how much do you kind of relish that and you can take it on guys like that? Um, I like it. Um, it gives me a challenge, um, especially when it's a, a top-notch offensive player, um, being able to try and you know, find different ways to stop them or, you know, just limit their their um, impact on the game. Um, it's definitely a, something that I enjoy. What I guess the just, what's the biggest just evolution you've made as a defender? I mean, what are some things that you can do now or you understand now as a defender that you didn't a year ago? Um, probably just the speed, because I mean, that's, that is an adjustment, the speed of the game, and then being really becoming more comfortable on the floor, just, you know, with everything that's going on, and then being able to, you know, you know make adjustments um, and, you know, really, you know, try and keep somebody in front of you. Um, you know, just really just trying to, you know, take it game by game and attack a different, each player a different way. You talked so much last year about defense being a big part of what you felt like got you on the floor, got you minutes, certainly toward the end of the season, really yeah. got you a more prominent role. I mean, how much do you find yourself this season drawing on the experiences of, of last year, maybe moments when you think, oh, that's familiar because of something I went through as a freshman? Um, yeah, I would say that that is definitely, I do look up, look to build off upon last year. Um, you know, a couple times last year there was um, some times where I was, you know, I, I remember last year against Penn State I was guarding Lamar Stevens and he, uh, he like, he absolutely made me look bad. I got two fouls, like, right away. I played maybe, like, eight minutes that entire game because he kept fouling, he fouled me out of the game. So, I mean, I just take, you know, learning experiences like that and, you know, use those to build off and make sure that stuff doesn't happen anymore. Okay, I got time. I got one more. Oh, yeah. One um, more, one more. We're gonna want a bruiser. How important has he been in your development, basically? What's he um, well, bruiser, yeah, I definitely you know spent a lot of time working with bruiser. Um, he's really you know taking me under his wing, especially on the defensive end, um, trying to find different ways to motivate me, um, and just you know working working on my defense because uh, uh, that's you know, what they need for me the most uh, at this point right now. Um, so. You know, just working with him, you know, be more sound, being get my rotations down, and being a better on-ball defender. All right, thanks, Joe. Thank you. Thanks, 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 thanks. Thank you.